Hi, it's Alaska Granny. Winter is here, and perhaps you've seen the tragic news out of Buffalo, New York, where so many people were stranded and even lost their lives due to a horrible blizzard. Then I was reading this article, and it said, Life and death situation, 30 people stranded at Target store. And I'm thinking, how on earth is that life or death if you're stranded in Target? Talk about a misleading title. 30 people were forced to spend part of their Christmas weekend in a Target store while they waited out the blizzard that crippled the Buffalo area. A blizzard's not like an earthquake that comes on suddenly. You have plenty of warning that winter storms are coming. Why would you venture out of your home? Which is a very important reason to become a prepper. If people knew this storm was coming and it was going to be terrible, you don't need to go out picking up people to bring them to your home for a holiday party. You don't need to worry about rushing out to the store because you don't have enough supplies. You should already have those things. And when the hint of a storm on the horizon comes, that's when you take inventory. And if you need something, you go get it ahead of time. You don't venture out in the middle of a storm for any reason. It doesn't make sense to head out in a storm. You hunker down and make the best of it. For people to describe life or death situation in Target, well, actually, Target is the perfect place to be. They have everything you would want. They have a camping section. They have a food section. They were a group of six and they stopped at a grocery store and wanted to shelter inside. Well, it's not up to the grocery store. Those people probably want to try to get home as well. The employees, it's not up to them to now take care of you. It reminds me of similar situations that we are concerned about of non-preppers showing up at our home when there are hard times and that's what these people are doing they're the non-preppers showing up in an emergency and expecting someone else to help them so yes it was a wise idea to try to find a shelter rather than stay in their car but you certainly shouldn't blame the grocery store because they aren't going to open up as a public shelter that's not their responsibility and yes it's great that target did that but i don't see these people saying thank you so much to target where do i pay my bill by christmas eve 30 people sought refuge in the big box store they had inflatable mattresses from the camping section they had pillows from the home goods they were waiting at the in-store starbucks for warm drinks as the winter storm raged outside that's hardly a life or death situation that's like you showed up at a fully stocked bunker and took advantage of target and i certainly hope that those people paid for the items that they used and didn't expect Target to just provide things for them. Bravo to Target for doing the right thing and helping people when it wasn't their responsibility. Try to take a lesson from this. Your emergency plan should not be a Target store. You should have the supplies you need at home and you should hunker down and wait it out so that you don't have a crisis through the decisions that you made. I guess Teddy doesn't even want to hear about what these people did. Anyway, the life or death situation was the people who were stranded in their cars, not the people who were stranded in Target. And we need to remember that there were plenty of victims which tragically lost their lives. The lesson from this is try to be prepared. Don't depend on someone else's generosity to take care of yourself. Get the supplies you need for any situation. If you live in an area with winter storms, Put some winter survival gear in your car at all times. You should have warm clothes. You should have some snack foods, blankets, maybe some flashlights. All of the things that we're always saying you need to have if you are heading out. Make sure that you have a get home bag, a shelter in place kit, a 72 hour kit, whatever you want to call it. Because in a situation like that, you can call 911 everyone's calling 911 they can't be everywhere they're doing their best and we can't blame them if they can't get there to you in time when you're the one who puts yourself in that situation you don't want to be responsible for bringing these situations onto yourself if you know there's threats and dangers prepare for them and then hunker down and make the best of it Tell me what you think in the comments below. What could people do differently to be better prepared so we don't have to read about these tragedies in the future? 
If you enjoyed my video, I hope you'll share it with someone else you think might like it. Please subscribe to the Alaska Granny channel.